What's going on, you guys? Pet Platypus here, and it's time to talk about My Hero Academia episode. This would be 16 or season 2, episode 3. Endeavor was Todoroki's dad. Who could have possibly guessed that based on the so subtle hints? Uh, you know, fire powers, his son is participating, my dad is watching, those subtle hints. No, it was. It was very obvious, and I'm not criticizing it right now, I'm just kind of being an asshole. Uh, it makes sense, and I'm definitely curious to see where that goes, because Endeavor looks badass, but I don't think we've ever actually seen him outside of, like, oh, Endeavor exists, and, you know, you see a picture of him. I don't think we've ever actually heard him talk or seen him in person, so it'd be really cool to see that and see how their relationship works, and it's probably strained, I would guess, based on how Todoroki, you know, in the last episode, he was like, you know, my dear old dad's watching, sounded very sarcastic, so... Definitely curious what their uh, what their beef is, if they even have beef. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just jumping to conclusions. But as far as this episode goes, uh, we also see the hand dude in this episode. Or maybe that was the last episode, but I'm pretty sure it was this one. It was this one when Deku won the race. Uh, we see the hand dude watching, which is kind of interesting. So he's still he's still lurking around. Uh, but yeah, Deku wins. Talk about that real quick. He did it without a quirk, which is really really impressive. Like that's. Beyond impressive. This is the dude who people said cannot get into this school without a quirk. You know, he'll get eaten alive because everyone's so much stronger. And he won without one. Just using smarts and using the environment and using the tools at his disposal. And it was badass. Genuinely fucking awesome. And I really like the contrast here where, uh, you know, in the entrance exam or the entrance test or whatever when they fought the robots... Uh, we, we saw this in the last episode where he couldn't move at all, and then in, in that episode he was able to actually move and formulate a plan and everything. But in this episode we get another contrast where in the original he lost completely, he had zero points, but he got all the hero points and that was beneficial for him. In this one he beat everyone else, he came in first, but his points are now a detriment going into the next event because now everyone's going to be gunning for him. Or however that next game works, I'm not too sure. I'd have to watch it again to see how the rules were explained because I've never heard of that game that they're going to play. But probably Japanese or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being an uncultured swine, but you know, I am white. <laughs> Joking aside though, uh, this episode was fun. We got to see a couple of uh, new characters, or at least one uh, new character in particular. We got to see the, uh, I don't know how to describe her, she has like the gear all over her and she had like these hover feet and like these attack on titan fucking things around her waist to like grab onto the rocks and everything she seemed cool her personality reminded me of peridot from steven universe she was like oh look at my amazing gadgets and shit kind of kind of full of herself a good voice actor i'm not sure who that was but sounded good again the dub is still really good everyone sounds great as you'd expect from a funimation dub and yeah, they're just doing a fantastic job with it, and I'm so glad I get to watch these episodes in English when I review them, which I could not do with Season 1. But that digression aside, uh, yeah, it was a really good episode. I like the creativity from Deku. It was really, really cool. Uh, the animation was great in this episode. It wasn't anything mind-blowing. You know, it didn't have any, like, really big standout moments like the last one with Todoroki, but still, it looked really nice. You know, it looked... Like Bones Animation, which is really fucking good animation. They're one of the best studios I've personally seen. And, uh, yeah, there's really not much else to say about the episode. It had good pacing, and they're moving on to the next event. So there's actually pretty solid story progression as well. That we actually finished the race almost in one episode. I mean, it got started in the last one, obviously, but that was, like, literally just getting started. This was pretty much the bulk of the uh, obstacle course. And I think that's pretty much it. There's really not much else to say. It's just a really good episode. I'd probably give it like a solid 8, 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it, especially Deku winning without a quirk. I think that's really cool, really impressive. And I hope he gets credit for that from someone because he didn't use it at all. And there's cameras on them at all times. So the fact that he beat someone like Todoroki and Bakugo or Kachan, I usually call him that. It's really, really impressive, honestly. So that's really cool. Too bad it's going to bite him in the ass in the next event for winning, but still, it was a fun ending to the episode. It was a very humorous ending, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. So, with that being said, what did you guys think of this episode of My Hero Academia? You can go ahead and tell me in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Both those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, or if you like what you've seen here. Click that little bell to get notifications when my videos go up. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.